Grizzlies legend Mike Conley knows how coronavirus is impacting the Mid-South. He's trying to make a big impact himself here to help yeah. students in the area adjust to distance learning. Fox 13's Jonathan Marshall talked to Captain Clutch about how he's coming up big again. Mike Conley's connection to the city is still very strong. He's donating $200,000 to five cities he has ties to. The code crew right here in Memphis will benefit from the donations. Now, this program focuses on computer science education for African Americans, Latinos, and girls, all underrepresented in this field. He plays for the Utah Jazz now, but Mike Conley remains loved in Memphis for his work on and off the court. The grit and grind legend is still dishing out assists for the city. His latest gesture is a donation to Code Crew, a nonprofit providing computer science education for children and adults. This is part of a $200,000 donation to programs in multiple cities, including New Haven Missionary Baptist Church in West Helena, Arkansas. With distance learning the norm due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Conley saw a need with Code Crew now teaching students digitally. Not everybody has the same resources. Not everybody has Wi-Fi fast enough. Not everybody has the, the capabilities to do a lot of these things. Um, I say every time Mike Con Conley was bouncing the ball uh, in the FedEx forum, kids were learning how to code. Code Crew Executive Director Meka Egueke says Conley always made a point to spend time with kids in the program. He says the donation will provide a computer and internet access for one year to 90 students. The challenge is in Memphis is in particular is, is an access problem that too many people just simply don't have access to the technology and then don't have access to learning how to be tech producers. It's been almost a year since Conley was traded to the Jazz. The name on the front of the jersey has changed, but his love for the city remains the same. Mike was always personable with the kids directly. I mean, he's a real human being with our kids. Um, and and uh, and then he demonstrates that tangibly in the ways like he did today. I know that's a real a real issue, and I want them to still be able to um, achieve their goals and uh, and continue their education and whatever they're trying to do. Reporting in East Memphis, Jonathan Marshall, Fox 13 News.